Sister Noble, can you hear us? Uh, oh, they said they, they said I can hear you really good now, hon. You know what? I, I, you know, I am. Um, <laughs> I am so disturbed. I don't think I should even say a word, to be honest with you, at this point, Mr. Angel. Do your thizzy. You know, Do your thizzy. and ain't going to get no, no, no worse than what it is. <laughs> I, okay. You know, I, I, I'm forced to, when I listen to black people speak, and as a black woman myself, when I listen to them speak and what it is that they say, it's about what they're not even conscious of. I'm so far removed from all of this sick, twisted, demonic, deliberate dysfunction. When people talk, I'm not even sure if they're even aware of what they're saying and how they're saying it and what they're saying without saying it. So, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just disturbed. I really am. Um, but it's something deeper. It, it, it really is. Um, but... I'm not even sure how I should even go about addressing that, to be honest with you, Mr. Angel. Uh-huh. Okay, go ahead. Because I'm... You said what? I said, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear it. If you... And I'm not... This is not being insensitive. If you were a victim of some sort of violation, and you're not the only black woman that does this, is it, does it place you or make you better than other victims of this, this, this common, unfortunate dysfunction and predator uh, action? If, as you had to slide in there, that you weren't penetrated? Does that somehow, some way, make your... No, I, I, I said that because I, I wanted to be accurate and when I when I describe my experience, that's, not, that's, not that's the reason why I said that. that. I've, I've always said that, and I don't think that I'm better than any other survivor of child molestation or child. Yeah. I heard you laugh after you made that statement and the yeah. way the energy of, of what you said like i said you need to get real mama about the statistics and black women because at the end of the day with women like me walking around this wouldn't be if everybody fell on my level and lived how a uh, functional clean honorable life none of us would have to be a victim at all the only reason why for this, for this brutal a vicious attack and war that is waged against black children and black women is because yeah. we're not getting any cooperation like a Mr. Angel. I heard that, 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 that situation last night and let me be perfectly clear it was an ambush. It was an ambush on Mr. Angel. Now he's a man, he stood his own but I don't want him to second guess himself because I understand the manipulation. That was a deliberate ambush. Okay. Okay, but I invited Angel oh, yeah. to the platform. I invited him to the live stream. And also, I also him prior to the live stream. I also texted him prior to the live stream. That was not an ambush. I texted him prior to the live stream, and I invited him after the live stream. Okay, but I invited Angel to the platform. I invited him to the live stream. And I invited him. I invited him to the live stream. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, I'm here. Why is she hollering? Are you listening to me, Mr. Angel? She has to. She on the on the on the speakerphone. Okay, Mr. Angel. Yeah. If the woman stood up and made some sexual talk in some sort of promiscuous or vulgar, sexually vulgar way, and you did not take the bait, see now, see, like I said, I, I'm not typical. I'm not common. I I, I can get dignity. Mm -hmm. When Nobody you is saying you are a typical economy. <laughs> Let her talk, us, Sister Noah. When you were not receptive of technically her sexual advances, that's when you developed the problem. That's where that problem happened. When she said, oh, well, I talk sex, I talk sexual, and you go and run and put me on private, that's when right then and there, anything else is irrelevant. That's when you develop the problem as a black man. You didn't know, Mr. Angel, when you turned down the sexual advances, that it makes you a mark? I think you know that. Ain't that something? Hmm. If you had to entertain that, if you had to entertain, see, I'm a smart one, I'm a real smart one. Maybe, like I said, Mr. Angel, I'll go back to listening after this, because I can't engage with this type of film, the things that I am hearing. But I said off the, I knew as I'm listening, I said you were not entertaining. 
thing that you can you did you fail the test. See, they like black men to talk about it but not be about it. That's what they like. So the fact that you were not receptive and put it all on the line, see, they like black men they can break. You understand? That's what they like. The fact that you were not receptive or turned on and entertained whatever sexual disgust and talk came out of her mouth, mm -hmm. that's when you, you had a problem. I'm tired of these women. I am tired of these women. Stand down. You're not clean or honorable enough to even have an opinion if we must be technical about it. They want to downplay on trauma and on this type of trauma. A violation is a violation regardless. Well, I wasn't penetrating. And considering, and considering what we know to be true culturally, you keep saying that, that, that magic number. I know better. I know better. You keep saying that one age and keep drilling that in. I know better. I know. Okay. See, well, tell like, me, tell me, 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 tell me what, what you know. know. What you know. You know what I'm talking about. You know I said, first of all, you don't have to raise your voice at me, ma'am. You don't have to raise your voice at me. You don't have to raise your voice at me, ma'am. It's not. It's not that deep. It's not that. It's not that necessary. It's not that. It's not that deep. It's not necessary for you to raise your voice at me and and you know try to talk over me. It's, that's not necessary. I'm trying to tell Nova let let you let her talk. I didn't hear you. Yeah, and I, trust me, it's like uh, we as black people, even other black women, we got to downplay on our own God-given intelligence. Oh, no, no, I don't downplay on nothing. Excuse me. I don't downplay on my own sexual molestation. I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what happened, and, and I don't want nobody to think that. Yeah. So anyway, because I'm not under your wicked rule, not me, not mine. I'm not under that wicked rule where you run the show. I'm not under it as a woman. So anyway, Angel, it's like I, we can't, if you implement any sort of intelligence, honor, or integrity, they are coming at you. Period. In some way, shape, or form. And to cover it up, they're going to play a game of manipulation. I'm sitting here listening. So you mean to tell me I got to downplay on my own God-given intelligence? Like I don't hear what the hell is being said right now? And the game of manipulation? See, like, I think that I've learned something right now about myself. I don't have the time or the patience to even engage. I don't even have, I don't have the time nor the patience because I got to sit here like I don't understand basic psychology one-on-one. Then why speak on it? I, it's like you're trying to get somebody to really buy, okay, something happened, but you're not telling the full story and that's your right. But why do I got to sit here and play dumb? I don't understand the, the average oh, I don't I look, lady, I know you. Lady don't even know the animosity. I don't even know why you have this animosity toward me, really. Honestly. I don't know why you have this animosity toward me because I haven't done anything to you. I've never I've never I've never done anything to you. I've never dialogued with you before. Why do you have get so to know to let you talk? Why do you have so much animosity toward me? I, I haven't ever spoken to you before. She, she's playing a game. Don't, don't, don't call my name. You, you know, don't call my name. Don't, don't call my name. It's obvious she joined in on the ambush and was playing so outraged and I'm disgusted. And she probably posted people's comments. Actually, I, actually texted him before the uh, live stream. And I invited him to the live stream. I'm coming over here to save her motherfucking ass. And because you have been repping her consistently. I'm sitting here listening, and I'm like, wait a minute. So she is upset. 
upset because she was talking, uh, uh, you know, sexually explicit and he put the video on private or parental level. What's the big, it's his, it's his platform. And then it hit me, oh, he's not a typical black male. So he didn't go ahead and get an erection and lose his mind like she wanted him to. Oh, that's why she, he, she's really angry. I'm telling you, the workings of you black women is something else, and I'm a black woman and I'm saying it. The workings of you are something else. You have so much blood. You are not qualified to speak. You're not. You're just hoping for a good cover. You're just hoping for a good cover with your DVD. I'm sitting here listening to this, and I'm like, I got a downplay on my intelligence. We're listening to this madness. This, this sick, psychotic manipulation. My God. Lord, damn black women from my life. <laughs> Please, man. I wish the man is here. I'm not a lesbian at all, but we're the man is here. Where can I go to escape them? Because they, wherever they go, the problems go. Wherever they are, manipulation, and there was something deeper. Oh, he turned down her sexual advances. Bingo. Just like a Jezebel. Just like a Jezebel. Oh, okay. So you had to pick something because you were technically mad because he's not a typical and behaving like a typical black man that you can rule over. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. And then you're sitting here talking about your supposed trauma. Yeah, I can say that based on a psychological game you just played with that. And then you keep saying certain things. Well, I wasn't, I wasn't penetrated. I mean, <laughs> And if you want a violation, according to you, still happens. What kind of demon are you? This, hopefully, not the people understand what I'm saying. If not, I don't get it. It's like, uh, well, I, well, if there was a whole who maybe was penetrated, or is your trauma somehow better than theirs? What is this psychosis? This is why nothing gets done. That's why nothing gets accomplished. Mr. Angel turned down somebody's sexual advances. Their illusion of desirability. He didn't fall for it. He's solid in his position. No matter what you think of what he's doing, no matter how you think it may not go anywhere and this and that, this and that, that's your opinion. But he's solid. That's why I listen to him. He's solid and you black women can't stand it. Let's tell the truth to shame the devil. He's solid, and you black women hate a solid black man because you want one that you can roll over and turn your nose up and, it, and act like it displays his illusion, his illusion of masculinity. Well, this man's masculinity is intact, and y'all sitting here playing with that. You see what you do? You see what you do? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So don't blame Mr. Angel, blame me. Blame me. I know what the hell I'm sitting here listening to. Don't blame and take it out on Mr. Angel. Blame me. Because me, my kind, my tribe, we out here. And like I said, it's repulsive. Then I heard the same woman sit up and talk about, and it goes to what you were talking about earlier, Mr. Angel. Oh, um, yeah, why y'all trying to stop us from having a, a, a family? And what the hell did this woman say? Do you remember that, Mr. Angel? Yes. Yeah, everybody's trying to stop, and, and if I'm going in too much, please stop me, Miss Angel, because this is your platform, and these wicked people will fight dirty and act like you have something to do with what I'm saying. If you want me to stop, I'll stop. No, I mean, you have the right to your opinion. You can express that. I, I, I thought that everybody well, here... Have people at, okay. Well, I, I guess not, because you got a tax for your own opinion. So... Yeah. And I didn't even agree with the opinion because I'm not going to sit up and I'm going to do everything I can as a woman. If I'm in a situation, I don't want to tussle with a big should not, should not still do. I don't want to do it. You see, but you're a man. You're speaking from a man's standpoint because you know these abusers out here are punks. You mm -hmm. know that as a man. Mm -hmm. But we're women with a smaller physique and we think about uh, uh, the physical weakness so we can't fight back. But I know exactly what you were saying. So then she's talking about, well, why can't we, I know who she was going at, too. Why can't we have a family and have kids to make us happy? Kids ain't supposed to make you happy. <laughs> kids is not here to, to make you That's the problem. That's why you walk around with nasty attitudes, being nasty to everybody where you work at, Verizon, motherfucker. Every time we got to deal with you, 
to the public, you're miserable, we got to suffer because you bit off more than you can chew. Children does not define your femininity. Yeah, being a mother does not define womanhood. Why continue to keep this trash going? It's not working unless you did enjoy the dysfunction and the failure. I don't understand these people, Lord. I'm better than this. I really am. Not that talking about you, Mr. Angel. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. Like, uh, the wickedness, the, 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 the illusion of femininity and the wickedness. Like, and then you wonder why nothing gets done. Nothing gets accomplished. Well, we was, and then she said we were happy slaves. We had a good time. Am I lying? Am I lying? Mr. Angel, did, did, was that, what was that not said by the same woman? Who was that again? Who was it? The one that, that made that, 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 that with the ambush last night. Didn't she, uh, didn't she, uh, black people know how to have a good time. When right. We playing, we were still right. She said that. Lying? She said what, that. Oh, okay. Yes, she that, said that. There's nothing to apologize. You you can speak. I'm sitting here just taking it all and just listen. Like, uh, oh, well, you know, in regards to trauma, in regards to, well, you know, thank God. And sad thing, well, I wasn't penetrated. Thank God, you know, thank God, thank God. What kind of sick, demonic, dysfunctional, despicable trash is that? I wasn't penetrated. So thank God. I mean, thank God. So good. You, so you claim. Does that put your trauma over under black the trauma of uh, black women? Man, like I said, thank y'all for the motivation. Y'all have just inspired me with your sickness. We are not all alike. I don't know what game y'all be running to yourselves mentally and spiritually. I knew what it was. The, the, the turning down of sexual advances. In case you black men didn't know, that's, how, that's the major test. Because as soon as you can show that strength, they hate your guts. If you want to know the, the average black woman, study the white man. And I, that's a fact. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me. If you want to know, I'm telling you. If you want to know the average black woman, the, how they manipulate and what the, I'm saying it, a black woman is saying it, then you need to enter. And once you understand that from the inside out that white man, you have mastered the concept of your average black woman. Parity and dysfunction. They keep adding to, how would they these women so horny in these deplorable conditions? Mm. But like you said before, they were horny on the plantation. And they keep trying to exhibit their sexuality for the illusion of desirability. The illusion of it. Still deemed undesirable to the point where your race of men are dogging you out all over social media and have been doing so for over 10 years. But you just want the illusion of desirability. Meanwhile, you're a baby 
baby mama and your children inherit nothing. Okay? So I have to, I'm going to go ahead and get off the line with that. I couldn't take it no more, Mr. Angel. I don't know. Maybe I should let y'all do your lives and then um, just come back after that so I can't go snap on the wall. To hear the type of filth, the type of, well, I was the pick. So what about those who were? They should feel less than? But this is the, the womb of the race. This is cool. This is the womb. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. This is disgusting. Whether you like it or not, you would rather us end up dead. You would do it if it to see, but especially black women like myself, successful and flourish, bouncy, light on my feet, honorable. You'd rather see the race go extinct than to sit up and close your legs, get up off of that back, and start rewarding bad behavior with that, with that sourness between your legs. You'd rather us go extinct this before you see black men be black men and black women be black women. You are the enemy. And nobody else has told you. I'm telling you, you are the enemy. Ma'am, I've been closed my legs. <laughs> You're waging psychological warfare. You're waging psychological warfare. I've been closed my legs. I've been closed my legs since 2013, honey. I don't know who the fuck you think you're talking to, but baby, I am not that one. I'm not that one. I've been fucking closed my legs since 2013. So this, this, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. Are you talking about Karen? Are you talking about Cynthia G? Are you talking about Tony 2 k Are you talking about Angela from the woman here? I am not intimidated. Are you fucking hollering and shouting and, and talking over me? I am not intimidated by that at all. I am not fucking afraid of you. You not, no, you not, you not this. Look, you not this strong fucking woman. Okay, we gonna, that you it's just to be. we gonna, 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 to be. Don't fucking assume a goddamn thing about me. You don't know what the fuck I went through. You don't know what the fuck I went through at the age of motherfucking five years old, bitch. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know a goddamn thing about me. Motherfucker, I ain't never made up no shit. I ain't never made up no, I ain't never made up the fact that I was sexually molested. That ain't, that ain't nothing to play around with. That ain't nothing to fucking play around with. All I was doing was, was explaining how I suffered molestation. It, it's, it's not downplaying women's abuse or trauma is not downplaying children being traumatized. I was explaining how the fucking molestation took place. And I've been saying it. I've been saying it on social media for the past two fucking years. I've been saying the same fucking thing. I'm not downplaying my own fucking sexual molestation. Never, never I downplay a woman being raped a woman being sexually molested, or, or I mean, a child being sexually molested. Never, never, never. My mama was raped. My fucking mama was fucking raped at the age of 20. Bitch, you don't know me. You don't know a goddamn thing about me. I don't know who the fuck you are. I've never had a motherfucking conversation with you ever. Don't you ever fix your motherfucking mouth to say that I'm downplaying my own sexual molestation at the age of motherfucking five years old. The fuck? Who well, is this bitch? Who is that bitch? Well, actually, actually. Look, look. I've been saying the same goddamn thing for the past two years. I've been talking this way for the past two years about child molestation that I suffered at the age of five. Bitch, why would I make that up? Well, actually, she didn't say that, but... Fuck, I don't give a shit. That's not, that's not what I she don't was give saying. A shit. Who is she talking to? She was, she was because talking to I, Because I, I've been closed my motherfucking legs. She was making reference... She was making reference to, to Karen at that I time. I know she was. But, uh, I know she was. But anyway, just, we got. I, I know I'm she was talking about Karen. Here. I know she was talking about Karen. Yeah, I know that. 
but she also made reference to me downplaying my own sexual molestation at the age of five. Bitch, you don't know me. <laughs>